All right, one of the last uh, release deck review. This is a Mocha Vampire deck. I love this one. This is my favorite one. This is pure Disney Mickey uh, pre-war. Uh, growing, I really love it with this artist. Jojo Sims, I really like it. Uh, let's try to open this. Here we go. No, really, I love this card so much. I really love it. I really like this art too. So, this is our promo slash key card, and it costs five, which is insane. But it has fleets, so it come into play Awaken, Flying, and Bloodthirst. So it have only 60 life, which is ridiculous for five, but uh, it's gonna get life back. So it's pretty good. Um, it have two for sword effect, uh, one for more life point, one for more attack. So let's check what it does. It have a power called Feed the Ravenous. Destroy another beastie you control. All beastie blood suckers gain plus 20 life on the attack. Deal plus 20 damage. And it's not returned until end of turn, so it means it's the permanent. And that's significant. Um, Caraben Clot. This attack deals plus 10 damage for each beastie bloodsucker in your limbo. So typically, yeah, you sacrifice creature, you boost uh, all of your bloodsuckers, and then when you attack, because you have a lot of bloodsuckers in your limbo, uh, it attacks for quite a lot. It's pretty interesting, it, it, uh, it's strong against dark. So in the mirror, that will be pretty good. So do we have a lot of blood sucker? We do have all those. And that's all. We have all those and let's start one with one that is not a blood sucker. We have bloodlust, another equipment. Equip this page to target a dark beastie without a page under it. Equipped beastie doubles any damage it would deal and must attack the closest opposing page to it before attacking caster. Pick if there is a tie between the distance. Equipped beastie cannot have other pages under it. So this is pretty insane uh, because it's not destroyed. And that's why, you know, in Metazoo you cannot, you should not <laughs> move card in, in your, on your playmat. Uh, the bit of the annoying part here is that it relates to the distance and when we play with webcam, which we do a lot in Canada because we live all so far from each other, um, it's kind of tricky to de decide who is the closest, uh, but typically like you just assume they are all of the same row or in two row and you attack the one that is right in front. Um, so this, in any case, this boosts a lot of power, so this is a nice boost. Uh, and we have all those blood sucker. The first one, we have three. The first one we're going to look at is Beast of Blood and Burrow. Is that a trap with blood sucker? It costs two with 55 life point, which is pretty nice. Um, this page attack deals plus 10 damage if your last meal contains meat. Not super relevant in competitive play. Um, rabbit charge attack for 30. The primary defender has an aura cost of one. That page is destroyed. What? And this is really good. It's really good at picking up like small things. And, and we saw a lot of the decks in the release deck have one cost. So this is pretty nice. And it costs only two. So this, uh, yeah, this is pretty good card. Um, I do like it for this deck and, and also like it's trapped you can put it under something just flip it and you know when you attack by one for example just hit it then when Ludwig with cost one and you just attack for 10 while well, it have blood circuit attack for 10 it have 45 life which is huge for one cost and this attack deal plus 25 damage if a beastie is damaged which like all the time 
Um, so it can easily be a one cost 45 attack for 35, which I think is very relevant. And Vampire Mercy Brown, uh, it's invisible and uh, infectious, which means you can clone uh, things that get destroyed. Nameless tokens you control gain infectus. Well, that that's, that's looks very complicated. Um, it deals plus 20 damage if you are wearing Vampire Thunks or Jewelry, which you can bring as item, and it attacks for 20. Um, so it's very hard, you know, it's invisible, so it's very hard to block. But, uh, yeah, I have to think about this card. But nonetheless, that's three. Um, you know, you have a lot, this is perfect. You have a nice curve. This is what you want. So like you have one, you have some two, and you have some three. And then you have your Mocha Vampire that's gonna kind of boost everything up. So there is no synergy, you know, in like, when you destroy one, something trigger, and all it's it's pretty like simple, but I think that's great for a release deck. And we have four Morpheus, which is great because that's one of my favorite cards, and that's in a new art. They're gonna definitely gonna sleep those, and we have two Nightmare, um, inflict uh, scare on target beastie, target destroy target beastie if it inflicted with sleep, so it's worthwhile with. Uh, Morpheus, you may place this page on the bottom of your spellbook. Scale is pretty good. I mean, it's kind of a 50-50, very good. It's much less good than Confusion. So I don't know, it costs two though. I don't know what to think about it. Um, it's kind of underpowered. Uh, then we have Aura Proess that's gonna help us to reach... What? Oh yeah, no, I was thinking because you need to control two or of different types and this looks like it's mono dark, but no, we have some spirit. Uh, but it's gonna help us to get those extra dark to to play Mocha Vampire, then we have usual two. Oh, we have one index. Such a spell book for Beastie reveal insane. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> so this is very good to contract Mocha. Um, the only thing is like you can cast only one card this turn, but it's I think this is very fun in a release deck. Then we have New Beginning, which is insane, especially with a kind of an aggro deck like that. Oh, we have three Tribal Warcry. Um, equip this page, that's an equipment, to target non-token beasties that does not have Tribal Boost. So they do not have. Equip beastie gains plus 20 and uh, life and plus 20 damage for every other beastie of the same tribe or name in the arena. Equip beasties considered to have tribal boost. So do they have Bloodsucker, Bloodsucker, Bloodsucker? Hell yeah, I love this deck. This is a very well built deck. Uh, so you have your creature, so you can always do something. It's not gonna be amazing, but when the pieces come together, it become amazing. And I think that's really a good way. Um, whoa, that's not that much dark, six. Seven. Seven dark is really not that much, but I guess the Aura Pros boosted to like 12. Um, so I just mulligan aggressively. You need to have like two, I think two in your hand, two dark in your hand. Um, anyway, I really like this deck. Also one of my favorites. Uh, I hope we're gonna see it on camera, uh, played in our next release event. And uh, we have one more release deck and I'm gonna post it right now.